Spoil Mom for Mother's Day. Visit berries.com, click the microphone, and type code RT News to send her flowers and freshly dipped strawberries for $39.99. Welcome to The Know, I'm Gray Haddock, and scientists have found a new way to study the Earth's climate change by using Krypton, an inert gas which is not to be confused with Superman's home planet or the superhero's Achilles heel, kryptonite. Now, as you know, climate change is a thing, and whether you believe in it or not, the fact is that the Earth's climate is drastically different than it was 4.5 billion years ago, and scientists have discovered a new process using Krypton to measure the age and conditions of ice. According to Live Science, radioactive krypton could help researchers track down the world's oldest ice, filling a crucial gap in Earth's climate history. Scientists are currently searching for Antarctic ice at least 1.2 million years old. This period marks when the Earth's hot and cold rhythms started shifting from a 41,000 year cycle to today's 100,000 year cycle. Ocean sediments have yet to reveal the reasons for the change, but atmospheric gases and dust locked inside the old ice could solve the climate mystery. Pretty cool stuff. To date, scientists have only been able to study ice about 800,000 years old. Certain methods of researching the ice include lengthy, expensive, and complicating drilling missions, while others include analyzing Antarctica's blue ice, which is not a Breaking Bad reference, but is ice that was created from an upward flow, meaning ancient ice would be that much closer to the Earth's surface. And according to the study's lead author, just 15 feet below the surface, the ice is pristine, untouched by today's atmosphere. Adding, you can just chainsaw it up and have as much ice as you want. But the difficulty is figuring out how old it is. Scientists estimate Antarctica's blue ice is around 2.5 million years old in some places. But that's yet to be proven, mostly because dating techniques used on rocks and soil don't work the same way with frozen water. However, analyzing rare krypton isotopes can detect microscopic bits of radioactive krypton-8, which will more accurately be able to tell them how old the ice is. The process involves hauling huge chunks of ice into a contraption that melts them down in order to ship manageable samples to the U.S. The lead author says, We spent two months carrying big chunks of ice around a glacier, so we did build up some muscle mass. We never got anywhere near Superman, though. That's the news for now, but for the latest in gaming, entertainment, and science, click like and subscribe, and we'll keep you in the know.